Hey everyone, Creatively Kara here, and my channel is all about taking you along on my creative journey with me. Today we're going to be setting up the month of July in my bullet journal, and you can see here my supplies that I'm sharing with you and my plan for the theme, which will be tropical, floral, and botanical leaves. You can just see here I have my colors and everything picked out. I will be using Crayola Super Tips along with my Papermate Flare, and I do throw in some Sakura markers as well. I am switching journals, so I'm saying goodbye to my Vivid Scribbles and I'm moving to a Scribbles That Matter. And I'm really excited about this transition. All of the items I will use today though will be linked in the description box down below if you'd like to check those out. Now, before you start using your Crayola Super Tip, I highly recommend that you do end up drawing out the florals first because there's so much overlapping with these that it was really helpful for me to just draw it out and then I would color in what I wanted to be on top and leave what I wanted behind behind. So just really helped me visualize everything because the flowers and leaves really do overlap a lot. I absolutely love all of the colors that I ended up picking out for this. There are four different green colors that I'm using and then the dark pink and the light pink with the yellow for the center of the floral. I really felt like the green colors went well together and then the pop of pink was just perfect and exactly what I was looking for. So definitely happy with this. I do have my Pinterest board for summer theme ideas if you wanna check it out. And when I was looking through it, there were also some teal and aqua colors with maybe lighter pink, which also caught my attention but I really wanted the greens so I did not go for kind of the more teal aqua um, style but maybe that's a color scheme I can use in the future with something else. After I doodled out the florals and the, the leaves I decided to outline everything and I'm really happy that I did this because it really just made each of those items pop so much more. So I definitely recommend that you do that in your bullet journal if you are recreating this. Now, this theme actually came from one of my other videos I just made, which was summer theme ideas for your bullet journal. I created four different ideas. I'm currently finishing up with the firefly theme for June, but you all voted on that one out of these four, and I absolutely loved the tropical flower and leave one so I thought I would do this one for July and heads up I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna end up doing the daisy and Volkswagen for August because that was like my next favorite the underwater theme it was cute but not quite what I was looking for so I don't think I'll end up recreating that one but if you haven't checked that video out I will link to it down below and in the cards here if you want to see a little bit more about those themes Yes, Milo makes his appearances in this video. Uh, definitely getting in my way this time. I just, maybe I need to <laughs> scooch my camera back a little bit so he has more room because he kept pushing my journal out of the way. And yeah, that was really great. Now I started off with this stencil here to create my circles. And well, I just realized that it was gonna take way too much time to do that. So I decided to just draw my circles by hand. Now, you'll notice that a lot of my lines and things that I create is all by hand. And I just find that not using a ruler saves time. And I definitely prefer that because while I like to make this all look perfect and everything, I, I don't like to use a ruler, just it's too much. I did mess up my lines a little bit on the calendar. You'll see that there's two extra days at the top there. So that was unfortunate, but I thought through the process here and I'm like, ooh, well, that's one of my leaf colors. So I'm just gonna add the leaf to cover up most of those lines. <laughs> and it did work really well. You can see the top kind of still leaks out a little bit there, but I will be using a darker leaf to go over that little bit right there too. So that's just the beauty of bullet journaling. Yes, you will make mistakes. I guarantee it, everyone does but try not to get hung up on them. I make mistakes constantly in my bullet journal and I just think through how can I fix it? What can I do to make this different? What can, can, Do I wanna highlight it? Cause I've seen people just go through and be like, whoops, I made a mistake and just admit to it and leave it there so that you can laugh at it in the future. Or do you cover it up with something? Can it be covered up? So just think through those processes. Maybe I should make a video on it, on, on my take of it. I know there are other videos out there, but 
it's just kind of fun to to see how that all comes together but also it's kind of hard to make a video on it because it's just i mean mistakes are mistakes you can't so just adding in my florals all around the calendar here i wanted to just fill the page with color and with the leaves and the florals super happy with that decision i think it turned out really great i felt like the calendar part kind of got hidden and not popping out as much as I wanted it to. So I added a black line with my Sakura marker to just kind of make that stand out a little bit more and define where those flowers start and end and the, the leaves start and end. But I almost think I'm gonna go back and make that line a little bit thicker because I think it could pop just a little bit more yet. Then I just have a couple more pieces to finish off with the calendar spread here, which is my header. So up at the top we have July. And I'm just, for my headers, I'm going for kind of more of these big, bold letters. I felt like that would work pretty well for this theme. And then I'm adding in the days of the month and my growth tracker as well. So I like to overall track my subscribers for YouTube and my followers for Instagram. So if you haven't subscribed or followed yet, I encourage you to do so, to have you join me on this creative journey. I love being able to help inspire others and it just makes me so happy to do that. Then again, just adding those final touches to the leaves and the flowers with an outline and we are done. Moving on to the mood tracker here. When I created the header, the letters kind of came out not exactly how I wanted them to. So I did tweak them up a little bit, but this one I'm probably least happy with. Anyways, for my mood tracker, I decided to pick out one of the leaves that I had and what I'm going to do is just color in each leaf for a mood each day. I really love this mood tracker, super simple, yet I think it's gonna be really beautiful in the end. Here is where I go in and touch up the header there. It definitely looks a little bit better. I just think that sometimes creating those O's can be difficult. I feel like if I want to create a header like this where it's a little bit more structured, I probably should try and like measure it out a little bit more. But as we already discussed this, I don't really like using rulers because it just takes too long. <laughs> but I guess there are pros and cons to that. Then moving on to the habit tracker. This one, I was trying to be a little bit more careful when I made the header and, and I think it turned out a little better. But here I am going to be using one of the habit trackers I've used before. You just kind of make them in a straight line using two lines for each habit. This idea I did share in my six tracker spread ideas and I really like this one because it allows for a lot of creativity around the tracker and I've, I've used it in a few different months so I'm excited to be using it again this month here. So as I mentioned, you can add a lot of doodles and things around it. So I decided to fill up this page with the leaves. I'll be using the pink then to go in and fill in the habits. I think I might end up either doing every other habit, you know, the dark pink, the light pink, or I could use just light pink, or I could use every other day changing colors. I don't know. Maybe I can use your help. Let me know in the comments below what you, what you think about that. If I should use both pinks, because I wanted to add the pink to the center to add some more color to this. So now I just had to figure out which one. Also, honestly, this cat, I just don't even know what to do. <laughs> I, I'll get comments from some of you being like, wow, you handled that so well. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm so used to it because it's just what he does all the time. So... I'm just very patient with him and I'm able to <laughs> work with work with him so that he's happy I'm happy kind of a deal. So yeah, he's a hoot. The next spreads we have here, I did not actually record me creating them, but it's my goal spread. So I just created three goals, drink 64 ounces of water a day, exercise six days per week, and create a consistent posting schedule for YouTube and Instagram. And then I have four boxes you'll see here, and that's where I'll check in each Monday. So I thought that would work pretty well and hopefully help me stay on track. This one is for Creatively Care Up. 
what we're doing right here. Um, I'm going to be using the boxes at the, at the top to then write in, you know, what videos I'm going to be making. And then the box on the right is probably going to be for my video ideas. And then the bottom might just be so, for notes or whatever else I think of or Instagram post ideas. So that will help me stay on track, I think, for my goal number three. Last but not least, we have the weekly spread. I love creating weekly spreads. It's so much fun. You could honestly use like kind of the same sort of weekly spread every time and just change it up so much by what you add to it. So I obviously included my florals here and I drew them out beforehand so that I could kind of make sure I balance the page. So I did the weekly spread where we have the days in the middle and then two sidebars on the left and right. So I included my floral doodles on the sidebars, but then I'm also doing a quote. I'm going to be doing the weekly calendar tracker so I can see kind of where we're at in the month. And then also I'm doing a habit tracker specifically for water. So you'll notice that on my habit tracker, I am tracking if I met my water goal. But then on the weekly spreads, I'm going to have a separate tracker to track the number of glasses I drink. So um, my goal is then to just make sure I hit my 64 ounces or more water per day and I'll be able to track that here. Now the pen I'm using right here is Sharpie's new like gel pen. I don't even know. It's, it reminds me of the Pilot G2, which is my favorite pen, which I like to use most of the time. But I was in the store and I came across those and they were like new products. And so I thought, of course, I have to try them right now. I love it. Um, it's it's great. They had um, a size 0.5 and that's what I typically like to do my daily writing with. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging it so far. I will tell you that. So I just add a little bit of cursive to the headers. I did go with the black circle and the white jelly roll for the day of the week there. Um, and then of course, no ruler making my lines. Honestly, in the end, it turns out okay, right? It does, it's not too bad. But here is a quick flip through. Well, that is all I have for you today. I thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, bye-bye.